Michael Adebolajo and Michael Adebowale, they ran over Fusilier Lee Rigby, armed with knives and a meat cleaver. Adebolajo tried to behead him. Adebowale hacked at his body. Three, two, one. Hey, Sasha. You remember Sasha from the other night. Why don't you two come to dinner at my house? We'd love to. How much do you owe? It's £10,000. Let's cut straight to the check, shall we? Jenny cannot pay you today. Why are you helping me? She is not who she says she is. Something awful is going to happen. 23-year-old Femi Nandap, who had a history of mental health problems and was known to police. Nandap has pleaded guilty to manslaughter on the grounds of diminished responsibility. But Dr. Ensink's baby daughter will never know her father and may one day ask who was responsible for his death. Of young black teenage boys yeah. who are members almost exclusively of gangs attacking each other so yeah. that the perpetrators and the victims appear to be almost exclusively young black men. The knife crime element of murder in London is predominantly young black of teenage course. boys. Yeah. 21 years old, Aloisi Dada admitted stabbing the 17-year-old Katrina Makanova to death. Five murderers gunning down 24-year-olds. Abdul Rahman Abu Bakr. Ali Harbi Ali is arrest at the scene of the murder of MP Sir David Amos. Zephaniah McLeod admits killing uni worker Jacob Billington, aged 23. Garika Gordon was arrested on suspicion of murder. The body was identified as Phoenix Nets. Bernard was 18 when he and four other teenagers abducted youth ministers Todd and Stacey Bagley. A fellow gang member shot the Bagleys in the head. Bernard then lit the couple's car on fire with both still inside. The shooter and Bernard's co-defendant, Christopher Villalva, was executed in September. Semi Lee Williams facing this first-degree murder charge for the stabbing death of 14-year-old Ryan Rogers.